Hi guys, welcome back to Junris Blagadagri as for this video reaction. Let's go to Russia once again, passive battle Russian and friends because this is our favorite country to make some more video reaction and the title of this video that we need to do some reaction for today since you see also in my thumbnail, so Russia decided to stop Israeli strikes in Syria 2021. So this is just so latest also and credit to the owner also with the video to Warthog Defense. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with Warthog Defense when this Russia decided to stop Israeli strikes in Syria 2021. And if you're new to my channel, just click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads. And if you have some comments and suggestions related to Russian videos, or any Russian videos that you can suggest, drop it to the comment section. I'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request. Let's get too into the video, guys. Have fun. And I really want to hear from you at the end of this video at the comment section. What are your thoughts, especially to the Russian or to the Russian also? What are your thoughts with regard to this video? Let's get to it. Enjoy, guys. Wow. Thank you so much for this video. I really love like the introduction of War Talk. Russia has run out of patience with Israeli in Syria and is planning a shift in its policies toward Israeli sorties over the country, according to an unconfirmed report Saturday. Oh. The London-based Arabic newspaper Ashar Kalasat cited an unnamed well-informed Russian sources saying that following talks with Washington, Moscow had got the impression that Washington does not welcome the continuous Israeli raids and thus believes it has the freedom to act more aggressively to thwart them. Oh. In light of this, the Russians were now supplying Syrian forces with more advanced anti-missile systems and know-how, making them more capable of shooting down Israeli armaments, the report said. It claimed the effect of this was already being seen, with Syrian air defenses shooting down seven of eight Israeli missiles during a July 19th Israeli raid. There was no outside confirmation of the Arab newspaper's report. Syrian media reported two Israeli attacks this week, on Monday night and early Thursday. Oh. It claimed that in both cases most missiles were shot down, though Syria has regularly made such claims in the past, in what Syrian war analysts have generally believed to be empty boasts. Israel's military does not comment on reports of specific strikes in Syria save for those that are in retaliation for attacks from the country. Really? Israel has launched hundreds of strikes against Iran-linked military targets in Syria over the years but rarely acknowledges or discusses such operations. Jerusalem fears Iranian entrenchment on its northern frontier, and it has repeatedly struck Iran-linked facilities and weapons convoys destined for Hezbollah. Oh. Russia has repeatedly criticized Israeli strikes over the years. In January Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Jerusalem should provide Moscow with enough, intelligence really about suspected threats so that it can neutralize them, rather than attack them itself. If Israel is really forced to respond to threats to the Israeli security coming from the Syrian territory, we have told our Israeli colleagues many times, if you see such threats please give us the information, Lavrov said at the time. Russia has deployed a large military presence in Syria to support dictator Bashar Assad through his country's brutal civil war. Oh. In order to prevent unwanted clashes, Jerusalem and Moscow have maintained a so-called deconfliction mechanism, which has allowed the two countries to effectively communicate with one another and avoid altercations. This mechanism has been generally successful, with the notable exception of an incident in September 2018, in which a Russian spy plane was shot down by a Syrian anti-aircraft missile that had been fired in response to an Israeli attack. Moscow blamed Israel for the deaths of the troops on board the aircraft, saying Israeli planes had hidden behind the Russian aircraft, a charge that the IDF fiercely denied. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.
um, I really want to hear from you, especially all the Russian, if this uh, video was really uh, true or just I leave your comment down section because I really appreciate with the Russian, uh, Russian like the government or their military or their because they really acted directly of what really happened to other nations that it really needs help, especially to threat, especially when there are civilians that are victims in that specific war in your country. So the Russian will, or the other nations will hit to other on that specific country also, so that it will be protect to the uh, civilians. To oh my goodness, that's they really acted. Have a much love and respect to the Russian. Uh, Russian army, military, or whatsoever, or their special forces, because they really acted and they really want to help to other nations uh, that they really uh, that needed their help also. And the Russian air defense system are not just designed to shoot down like threats; they are also intelligence gathering systems, other frequency, on other informations that they really want to know what's really happened in that specific country. If it's really true that they really needs help, and they are coming through into it and this is such so like bold and very uh very interesting video also that you really see someone from other country that uh, they are really concerned to that uh, country also that you really want to help and act directly and you should help really have the love and respect for the russian uh, government and to all the russian like uh, army military and also with their special forces Wow, this is incredibly amazing. Thank you so much. And I hope, guys, you enjoyed watching with this one. And if you do, and if you really want to see the full videos in the description box below, if you like this video, guys, same as I did, just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share and subscribe also with my channel. And this is Jun Riz Pagadadia saying, stay humble, stay positive, guys. And if you want to connect my social media account, if you want to connect my second account, it's in the description box below. And thank you so much, Pasiba, to our Russian friends. God bless everyone. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. And see you in my next video reaction. Bye-bye, guys.